Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Mind Your Exam. In this video, we will learn about the different data types that are provided by the R programming language. So the first data type is the numeric data type. So as the name suggests, it allows all the kinds of numbers to be present in the numeric data type. So whether it is a whole number or it is a decimal or a fraction, you can store it in the variables and those variables will have the data type as numeric. Now to find out whether a value or a variable has what data type or whether it belongs to numeric data type or not, we will use the built-in function of class provided by the R language. So here we are printing the class or the data type of this variable n1 and let's see what the result is. So when I execute all these statements, as you can see, we get the class of data of uh, variable n1 as numeric and similarly the class of variable n2 is also numeric. Now if you explicitly want to store the integer values not as numeric but as integers you do not want to mix them in a data type that can also store decimal values so you can specify a particular value as integer keeping in mind that these values cannot have decimal points. So say you have a number 3 and you want the R compiler to store it as an integer rather than storing it as numeric, then you specify the alphabet capital L at the end of that value and then you store it or assign it to a variable in R. Similarly, the value, the integer value can either be positive or negative and it can also have large numbers to store in itself but the only catch is that you want you have to specify the alphabet capital L at the end of the integer. So let's execute both these statements and see what is the result. So when I execute the four statements I get in both the cases the class of 3L and minus 90L as integer instead of numeric. So keep in mind that these are also numbers, numeric values, but now it is being explicitly told to the R compiler that these are special type of numeric values which are belonging to the class integer. Now the third data type provided by R is the logical data type and logical data type contains only two valid values which are true and false. So uh, the logical data type can only have these two values and please keep in mind that because of the case sensitive nature of R, these values should always be written in capital letters. So let's assign these values to the two variables L1 and L2 and print out what is the class of these two variables. So when I execute these statements, you can see that the logical true and the logical false are belonging to the class logical. Okay. Now, if we write it or treat it as integers, true corresponds to a positive value, whereas false corresponds to zero. Okay. The next data type provided by R is the character data type. Now, character data type is an interesting data type because it consists of anything that is enclosed in double or single quotation marks okay so if i have a number that i have enclosed in single quotation marks or double quotation marks or i have a logical value true or false enclosed in double quotation marks or a character string all these cases will be treated as the character data type. So when I execute these statements and print the class of each of these variables, you can see that each of them belongs to the character class. The last data type provided by the R programming language is the complex data type. Now complex numbers as you all know consist of two parts, the real and the imaginary part. So any time a complex number is stored in a variable, whether or not it has a real part or not, this complex number will be having the class of complex as the data type. So let's execute and see the output. As we can see in both the cases, the 
output is complex that means these two variables storing complex numbers belong to the complex data type or the complex class in R. I hope you have understood all these uh, data types. Thank you for watching till we meet in the next video. Mind your exam.